Hey everybody, this is gonna be a different type of video. Um, it's weighing heavy on my heart. As y'all know, I do have um, some depression, anxiety um, after having a baby and things like that. This topic in particular is hitting me really hard today. So I dropped off my uh, 19 month old at daycare and her teacher, which I've gotten really close to only in a matter of a year, she informed me that she would be leaving. Um, she's moving out of state to go be with her family and stuff like that. She is older. Um, as time has gone on, we have adopted her as our grandma and me and her, we would go places together and stuff like that. Like go to Goodwills, go to this, go to that. Um, ended up having a very good relationship with her teacher. She, like I said, informed me just this morning that she was moving and immediately I teared up and hugged her. Um, she has told me some things that were going on with the daycare. Um, it is a preschool as well and it turns into a school and things like that. Um, so my theory was my baby would grow up and still know her first teacher and things like that and always see her. And as she's going on to the next class and stuff like that, that her teacher would be there to kind of watch and see, you know, and, and she does spoil her. She sends me pictures throughout the day of what's going on and she spoils the heck out of her. It's going to be really hard for her to go on to the next class. No joke. But what's weighing heavy on me is that she was informing me about, um, you know, the owner or whatever and the principals and stuff like that, how they are as far as the administration and being a teacher there, an employee there, it's kind of rough. They, she makes $10 an hour and that's not making it for her. And she's continued to vouch for other employees. Um, you know, a lot of them do come in her room. I'll see them, other teachers come in there and they're venting to her and talking to her. And she kind of takes the bat for them and, you know, goes and tries to handle things and takes the heat, uh, if you will. I've been that employee before. I've been the one that I'll take the heat. Y'all come to me, you tell me things, I'll take the heat, put it on my shoulders. And of course you do, you take the heat. And she said she was kind of tired of being that person when it's hard to go in and vouch for your employees and for the other, like you've got 10 employees standing behind you, but I'm, I'm in here and I'm vouching for them when there's nothing that you could do because you know they won't care. The employer will not care. So, you know, I just, I guess what's weighing, again, weighing heavy on my heart is the fact that you're not paying them enough. You know, teachers have the hardest job. They really do. They do the work that the parents don't want to do. Let's be real. It's a job that a lot of us don't want to do. They're educating and molding the minds of the future. It's the truth. And it's a hard job. They do, especially a one-year-old. The screaming, the crying, the just, ah. That's why you go in there and you're like, man, I couldn't do it. You know, that's, that's the thing you tell the teachers. Like, I don't know how you do it because I can't do it. Your job is so hard because it is. And being a teacher is just really hard. I don't care if it's a daycare or I don't care if you are teaching the ninth grade. It's hard. Each grade has its own hardships and things that you have to handle that the next grade probably don't have to. They have their own things they're handling and they're taking care of your child and they see your child and raising your child more than you do. And I'm gonna end up crying. It hurts my heart to know that every teacher that's at that daycare and at that school is beyond underpaid. Teachers have a very underpaid job as it is. They just do. And it disheartened me to this school to know everything that she was telling me. Instead of giving 
a teacher a mug that says number one teacher on it for Christmas. I, this being my first go round of, of a teacher, I gave a Visa gift card so that she could buy whatever she wanted. You know, gave her a little coffee and uh, I knew she liked coffee so I gave her a Starbucks little coffee from like the gas station, you know what I mean? And just gave her a $25 gift card. Um, at this point, I'm like, we need to start giving our teachers a $100 gift card, a, a Visa gift card where they can go anywhere, pay a bill with it, you know what I'm saying? Stop giving them a mug. Really, stop giving stop giving teachers a mug. Stop giving them things they probably don't want anyway. Give these teachers a gift card. Give them 20 bucks, okay? That's what they want. That's what they need. I just, you know, my kids' daycare cost $185 a week. And they have over 10 students in that class. It got to the point where it was 15. 185 times 15 kids in just her class. That's not to say any of the other class. There's four one-year-old rooms. So there's four classrooms with one-year-olds. And every single one of us as parents are giving $185 a week times how many kids you've got in those classrooms. You could pay these teachers more. It's unbelievable that I found that out today. She made $10 an hour. Um, she has a hard job and to know that she's not being, she's so vastly underpaid made me feel so bad. She is such a great teacher and I, I'm saddened to know that she's leaving. It breaks my heart. And she says she goes in there and she will, you know, tell them we, we need to be paid more. If the tuition's going up, can we be paid more? And they ignore her. That's why schools turn into what they turn into. If those teachers aren't happy, those kids won't be happy. Those kids aren't happy. These parents aren't happy. Y'all need to be paying these teachers more. So my preach in this video is just to vent it's just to say that it's miserable as the parent who loved the teacher and my kid is happy and loves her teacher to know that that teacher's leaving because they were vastly underpaid and not being treated the way that those teachers need to be treated. It pains me. It does. And if you are a teacher... I am that parent that cares. I am. I am that parent that cares. And I want you to make more money because you are raising my child more than I am. You are disciplining my child. You're handling the mess that we don't want to handle as parents. You're teaching them, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Thank you. You're teaching them please and that's at a two-year-old age and I can only imagine what headaches you go through during the day as they go older and they get they get up in grades especially the ones that are dealing with the preteens and the hormones those junior high ages bless your heart bless it in every way I could not do that and since I can't do it, I send my child somewhere in hopes that they're safe. That's another thing. These teachers are out here throwing themselves out in front of a gun for your child. So just know there are parents that do care about you as a teacher. And all I want to do is run up to the administration of the school and say, the reason that my child is still here is because of that teacher who is now leaving. Because you didn't want to treat them right. <sighs> As a parent, I just want to start a coalition of, of other parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> you've got to pay these 
these teachers better. What does the school turn into if the teachers aren't that great and they're unhappy? It trickles down. It just does. It starts with administration treating these teachers right. It's the beginning of summer and a new school year is going to approach soon. And I'm glad that I'm learning now when my daughter is not even two years old yet, that teachers are being very underpaid. And I knew this, I have family that works as, as school teachers. Um, so I knew the state don't pay them well, but the daycare and the school that she's going to is expensive. And it's one of the most expensive. It's one of the better ones I thought and so I'm just saddened to see what I'm seeing. And I'm glad that I'm seeing it now when she's two years old. And, you know, I, I could treat, obviously I treat the teachers well, but treat them better. Treat these teacher, teachers with so much more respect knowing, you know, I have such a different 2020 view on it at the moment. I really do. Um, and like I said, the new school year's coming up. Um, think about these teachers and think about what all they're going through and, and how you're treating them. And like I said, when it comes to Christmas times and you're giving out, you know, teacher appreciation gifts and things like that, give them something more than a coffee cup. That's all I'm going to say. But sorry for my rant. Sorry for the ramble of the same thing over and over. But I'm just in shock that her teacher's leaving. And for what reason? Um, I have a lot of teachers that I remember and I love and I appreciate from when I was in school. I still remember them and their approach and the things that they did in their class and why I love them and remember them so much from my childhood. I want all of our kids to have that same view, you know? I want my child to remember these teachers because they were so wonderful, not because they were tired and they're tired and is it worth it? And if you're not paying them a lot, it may not be worth it to them. And those are good teachers. If you're treating the, the good ones badly, they're going to leave and you're left with bad teachers. You just are. Let's appreciate our teachers. They do a lot for us as parents and for our child. Some of them pay for things for their classrooms all on their own because they're not paid enough. Maybe that's why some classes don't have all those wonderful things because those teachers know I don't make a lot of money. And since things are going up in the world, prices of things are going up, I can't afford to make sure that my classroom looks the best anymore because it's coming out of my pocket. I gotta afford groceries. So I guess enough of my rant. I'm gonna miss her teacher so much. I hope that when she moves and she's with her family that she's, you know, happy up there. I, I'm, I encourage her to move closer to family. I've been away from family, so um, I know that having family close by is a luxury. I don't want her to stay. That'd be selfish. You know, us parents would be selfish on our own. Just saying, hey, I want you to stay, you know, uh, maybe they'll pay you more. You never know. And I'm like, no, I bet she does want to go see her family. Her husband did pass away not too long ago. So it's time to go see family. And I understand that. And I hope that she um, does well. She's a great teacher. And if she goes up there and works for a daycare up there, they are the luckiest MFers that they'll ever, they'll ever realize. So, um, 